So I've just seen Season 6, Episode 4 of Rick and Morty, and I'm sorry this was kind of a late video. Um, I had a really bad headache yesterday, so I just didn't get around to doing it. So now I'm doing it today, and I'm going to have to try to upload it today. Yay me. But back to the episode. The episode, there's not really much to say about the episode, but it's just fun. I'm having fun watching Rick and Morty again. I loved the concept of this episode a lot. This episode revolved around this new sci-fi device Rick got where his um, subconscious self when he's asleep does stuff for him and every all of his family wanted some so they all did it and <laughs> with doing so somehow Night Summer became the leader of the group and they wanted to take over the day and have the day people do stuff or at least like rinse the dishes they wanted them to rinse the dishes but rick was adamantly against doing anything because the night people are supposed to do everything they don't want to do and it ended up becoming this big crescendo where like the night people are fighting the day people and the night people actually fucking win i really like this episode it kind of reminds me of solar opposites in the fact that it's kind of sci-fi but it also is kind of about nothing so I'm assuming this was a Justin Roiland idea. It feels, I don't know, it just feels really fun. There's literally not much I can say about this. It doesn't like enhance the story. It doesn't drive any plot forward. It's just a fun thing that is very self-contained, very episodic, and I just like it. The only thing that I can see going forward from this is that uh, subconsciously, Summer is a lot smarter than some of us may think. She has the potential to be a huge mastermind. At least that's what I got from the situation because her sleep self is her subconscious. So it only makes sense that she has the potential to also be like the leader mastermind of everything. And that kind of showed some sentiments at the beginning where Summer was kind of ignoring Rick. And that, that ignoring kind of led Rick to letting everybody have their night person. So it... There's some semblance right there, I think, right? Another thing I can say is that it's nice seeing Jerry as a main focal point in this story, where he he didn't want to use the night people like everybody else used them. He just used it as a pen pal. And I was kind of confused because I assumed you had, to, you had to tell them what to do. So I assumed he had to tell the person what to write towards him, which made it even more sad and it was more of a Jerry thing to do. But at least his Jerry self, his Night Jerry is a different person, so they are just writing people like they're different people, I guess. But that's the only reason they had some sort of a fighting chance, is because Night Jerry was actually Jerry's friend and really liked Jerry and the Day family, so kudos to Jerry for actually having a friend and being the savior of this episode. You know, you don't see that often. The very bad person Jerry is the savior of an episode. <laughs> So if this is going how I would assume that it would be going, I would want episode 5 to be a serialized episode, or just save it for 8, 9, and 10, but I'd want it for 5 and then maybe 9 or 10 be the last two serialized episodes. The rest can be episodic, but episode 5 needs to have some sort of importance to it because it's the halfway point of the, the season. And I think that's one of the reasons people didn't like 4 or 5 as much, is because they were adamantly trying to stray away from the serialized stuff, and they tried their hardest not to do anything at all until, like, the last episode. <laughs> they wanted to do something for one episode, and that's it. So I think just give us two episodes, three maximum. The rest can be episodic, and I will enjoy that. Honestly speaking, I think that's a good he healthy middle ground, honestly. But with that being said, that's really it. I have no idea what the next episode will be. I don't look at previews or promos or anything for the next episode, so I have no idea what it'll be. Let me know what you guys think of Season 6, Episode 4 in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. I don't expect this to do that well because I'm uploading this so late, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and yeah. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. So fight and fight.